Chalk, I'm the founder and the leader of the Oasis Trust and Oasis Church in Waterloo. I think everything's a theological concern. Animals are a theological issue because everything in the cosmos is a theological issue. Theology isn't some part-time thing you do on a Sunday morning sat in a church or to do with your own inner life only. It's to do with our attitude to absolutely everything all of the time. What the Bible says about life is the important foundation to what the Bible says about animals. Um, Jesus, a Christian in the end, is a follower of Christ. Jesus tells us to love God. Jesus tells us to be like our Heavenly Father, to imitate our Heavenly Father. God is love. God is compassion. God is justice. The life of Christ has an impact on our lives. He is our example. We're called to follow him. We're called to follow him. And he said, worship God, the one God. Follow me. I am the way. I'll show you how to do that. Therefore, as we think about the issues of animal welfare, as we think about factory farming, as we think about the mistreatment of animals, as we think about cruelty to animals, as we think about the exploitation of animals, we have to say that these things make us less than Christ is. These things make us less than a, an image of God's love. These issues we need to address. I often find that Christians will say to me, look, my thing is homelessness, or my thing is um, working in education, or my thing is health. If we look at, back at the lives of some of the great Christian uh, reformers and workers, if you take the life of Wil William Wilberforce, for instance, William Wilberforce and his friends, known as the Clapham sect, we know them mostly for battling against human slavery. But they were also the instigators of uh, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. They were also the instigators of the society, the National Society that looks at the prevention of cruelty to children. They also worked at healthcare. They also worked in schools. So our Christian concern must embrace all of these issues animal welfare, the exploitation of any animal on earth. Remember, human beings are animals. That must be wrong. It's being less than human. The plight of animals is a faith issue because if I'm a follower of Christ, all of my actions, all of my echoes should be an echo of his life, his life of love. Christ said, of course, follow me. He pointed us to God. I am the representation of God on earth, he said. We look at Christ and we see what God is truly like, say the New Testament writers, says John, and says the writer to the Hebrews. In these past days, we've had approximations through the prophets and the writers, but in these last days, says the writer to the Hebrews, we see the very image of God. We see God as he is. And in Christ's life, we see a life of justice and love and mercy and compassion we see him moving away from everything that's about abuse, everything that's about exploitation, everything that's about cruelty to anyone or anything else. In the end, I'm a follower of Christ. My theology is actually Christology. It's a Christ-centered theology. And so I see that the way I interact with my entire environment, with my friends, and family and relatives and community, with my, the space around me, with animals, with the whole of the world as one, one piece, part and parcel of the same issue. There are many ways in which Christians can be examples of good stewardship towards animals. We can't live, we shouldn't live dualistic lives. I'm a Christian over here, I worship God on a Sunday. I give this part of my life to him, but I've not thought about how Christ's values impact all of these other areas in my life. There's just one thing, what I eat, what I spend my money on, the way I spend my money, the, the kind of food I eat, the conditions under which animals live, all of these are important issues for 
anyone who wants to be a follower of Christ, and it's these issues we've got to pursue. If you like, uh, following Christ is a jigsaw puzzle, and so many of us emphasise one bit or another bit, but we've got to give the whole world the whole picture. And the, the, the way in which we treat the animal kingdom, the rest of creation, the world as well as the rest of the animal kingdom, is an important part of who we are as the church. So I don't see animal welfare as a side issue for kind of fanatics or into that kind of thing. I see as core and central to any Christian who's ever grasped what the foundation of Christian living is about. We are to live a life of justice. We are to live a life that puts others first. We are not to exploit. We're not to um, abuse. We're not to use any other creature or any other thing on earth. We're called to tread lightly and tread well. Sarks and its message is part of that.